First up, though, Chief Political Correspondent Carl Cameron is outside the debate hall and starts us off tonight with the latest on Team Trump. Good evening, Carl. Hi, Brett. Well, Governor Mike Pence of Indiana knows that in addition to criticizing Hillary Clinton, he will need to answer and defend a number of controversies that have been revealed over the last year and a half of Trump's candidacy, as well as questions about his temperament. In Colorado, Trump visited with energy executives this morning. And she said she's going to put you out of business. Hours before his running mate takes the debate stage, Trump rallied Prescott Valley, Arizona. I want to send our best wishes to our great governor, Mike Pence, as he prepares for his debate tonight. Trump's attacks on government and national stability hit a new level in Colorado yesterday with a broadside on the U.S. criminal justice system. The investigation of Hillary Clinton was rigged. It's a shame, and I must tell you, it's one of the saddest things that many of us have ever witnessed in this country. We've become a banana republic. Pence expects to be asked about Trump's business dealings, perhaps including Trump's rental of office space from 1998 to 2003 to Bank Melly of Iran, which was linked to terrorist groups and Iran's nuclear program. The vice presidential nominee was loose defending his running mate at a Virginia rally last night and let some profanity slip while bashing the media. They think they finally got him. And then they turn on the television the next morning and Donald Trump is still standing stronger than ever before and fighting for the American people. This <laughs> really is fun to watch, I'll tell you what. Pence knows he'll be asked to explain his own flip-flops on supporting NAFTA and the Trans-Pacific Partnership, as well as the Iraq War, along with opposing Trump's Muslim ban before he joined the ticket and aligned himself with those policies. He has seldom talked about his vice presidential rival on the trail, but last night in Virginia took a shot at Kane. When he was governor of the Commonwealth of Virginia, he left the state $2 billion in the hole. I'm proud to say we've got the largest surplus in Indiana history. With down-ballot Republicans worried that Trump could hurt their election hopes, New Hampshire Republican U.S. Senator Kelly Ayotte, who has long criticized Trump, tripped up in a debate last night. Certainly, uh, there are many role models that we have, and uh, I, I believe he can serve as president, and so absolutely, I would do that. Ayotte issued a statement saying she misspoke and thinks neither Clinton nor Trump are good examples. For Pence, the challenge tonight is defending what critics call Trump's erratic temperament and xenophobic racist rhetoric while keeping the emphasis on Clinton criticism. But Pence said, say, don't expect a lot of smash mouth or name calling, noting that it was Trump himself who said he didn't put Pence on the ticket to be the attack dog. And after all, voters have seen that Trump pretty much has that, that part of it covered. And yes, Brett, there will be live tweeting from Donald Trump tonight during the debate. And that will be interesting. Worth following. Uh, Carl Cameron, live just down the road here.